Officially recognized by Guinness, the super-large reservoir in Qatar built by China won the Guinness World Record for the world's largest drinking water tank. Kalisa, the site director of the Qatar Strategic Reservoir Project, said, the part of the construction undertaken by the Chinese company is fast and of good quality. It has successfully passed all the engineering quality inspections and there have been no problems so far. I think the Chinese company is the best. The World Cup let us re-understand Qatar, it is located in the southwest of the Persian Gulf, near the Tropic of Cancer, dry and hot is the most distinctive theme of its climate. By the way, let me tell you a fact that little people know, well, in fact, the hottest place on the earth is not the equator, but the area around the Tropic of Cancer, the circle marking the latitude 23.5 degrees, such as the Sahara Desert and the Arabian Peninsula. Throughout the year, Qatar is strongly affected by the subtropical high and has persistent sunny and hot weather. Such extreme and hot weather must have brought extreme water shortage to the people of Qatar. In addition to the lack of surface water, the development of underground water systems is also very scarce. Most of the residents' drinking water comes from seawater desalination. They also don't give up the wastewater, but turn it into important industrial water and necessary agricultural water. After a series of technological processes, the cost of producing pure water has become very expensive. The current price of gasoline is about 2 rials per liter, about 3.9 yuan, while the local fresh water is several times more expensive per liter, 15.25 yuan slash liter, it is a country where water is more expensive than oil. Against such a difficult backdrop, water storage became a top priority. Not only to meet the needs of fans from all over the world during the World Cup, but also to meet the daily needs of people's lives, Qatar attaches great importance to the country's water supply capacity and strategic water security, and they have begun to deploy reservoir projects very early. Until 2015, they chose a Chinese company as a partner to officially build a reservoir project. We all know that it is very difficult to build a solid reservoir in the desert, so how did China break through the obstacles? Hi! Welcome to Hot Topics Time, a channel to interpret news from a new perspective and explore the wisdom behind the news. In today's video, let's take a look at the world record-breaking largest water tank built by a Chinese company in Qatar. Okay, let's get started. The project is distributed in five locations across the country and consists of 15 large reservoirs, which jointly build a huge strategic water storage system with strong water storage and dispatch capabilities. The whole project includes not only a simple storage tank, but also a series of seawater desalination infrastructure, water transportation pipeline system, water distribution system, and various corresponding power supply facilities. In addition, there are auxiliary projects such as pressurized pumping stations, water quality monitoring and testing centers, and related supporting equipment. Recently, the Guinness Book of Records officially confirmed that this super-large strategic reservoir in Qatar, which was built by a Chinese company, won the title of the world's largest drinking water tank. As for a single reservoir, it is 300 meters long, 150 meters wide, and 12 meters deep, which is approximately equal to nine football fields. Its actual water storage capacity is as high as 436,600 cubic meters, which not only improves Qatar's national strategic water security, but also provides enough water buffer space for large-scale events such as the World Cup. According to statistics on the daily water consumption of Qatari residents, the reservoir can meet the water consumption of residents across the country for about seven days. It is very difficult to build a solid reservoir in the desert area. The high temperature and hot external environment alone have made ordinary concrete materials unbearable. Coupled with the effective temperature difference between day and night, traditional concrete maintenance technology is also not suitable here. In a word, it doesn't work at all. What's more, another most difficult problem is the strong wind and sand and strong sunshine. So, how does China solve these problems? In response to such a situation, the material and strength of the concrete must be improved to meet the demanding engineering requirements. 
Generally speaking, such super-large reinforced concrete storage tank projects often adopt a cast-in-place assembled structure, and a large number of expansion joints and construction joints need to be left in the bottom plate, tank wall, and roof. However, these expansion joints and construction joints left due to structural and construction needs will become the weakest link for tank leakage. In order to ensure the anti-seepage quality of these dense expansion joints and construction joints, and reduce the delay in construction period and cost waste caused by multiple water injection tests, the Qatar Reservoir has the characteristics of super-high, super-long, dense expansion joints and construction joints. In view of the possible leakage of the reservoir, it is difficult to quickly locate the leakage point, which will cause a large amount of water loss and increase maintenance costs and other key issues. The Chinese project team adopted multiple waterproof measures of built-in, mid-fill, and external seal during construction. The specific method is to pre-embed the water stop and polyethylene board inside the concrete during the construction stage of the concrete structure. After the construction of the concrete structure is completed, fill the sealant in the middle and outer layers of the expansion joints and construction joints, and finally paste the waterproof cover on the concrete surface plate. According to different forms of expansion joints and construction joints, construction methods adapted to local conditions are adopted. This can not only ensure the uniformity and high-quality construction quality of a large number of expansion joints and construction joints in the project, but also avoid the leakage risk caused by the large number of cracks in the later maintenance. The walls of the entire reservoir are ultra-high and thin-walled concrete structures, which have extremely high technical requirements. In the dry and high-temperature environment of the desert, in order to ensure that the quality of the project is strictly passed and not eroded by wind and sand, the project research team adopted two approaches to make breakthroughs. On the one hand, the engineering analogy method is used to find advanced experience. For example, referring to the Mupuro Reservoir project in the Kingdom of Lesotho, the relevant design parameters can be determined through the engineering analogy method. On the other hand, a tense simulation test was carried out. In order to ensure the effect, a total of six tests were carried out before and after and different leakage gradients were set to test different positions of the concrete structure. According to the test results, the parameter ratio of concrete is continuously optimized, completely overcoming the influence of the environment on concrete construction, not only improving the surface finish of the material, but also greatly improving the bearing capacity. After many difficulties, the project team finally completed the record of this reservoir, leaving an eternal Chinese symbol on the land of Qatar. At present, Qatar, the largest single reservoir in the world, is supplying football fans from all over the world with the sweetness from the source of life, which strongly supports the World Cup in Qatar. What's more, it also solemnly announced to the world that this is the first carbon-neutral World Cup in the history of the World Cup. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news, we will see you in the next video.